So this very quickly leads to the question then, well then what counts as sufficient evidence for Clifford? Okay, so uh, there's conditions upon which you can believe somebody else. And the condition, and those conditions are, you know, kind of simply, uh, when they're being honest, they're trying to tell the truth, and they have sufficient evidence. <laughs> now, that just kind of backs the question up, right? <laughs> so then what counts as sufficient evidence? Well, you have to have two conditions. Uh, your belief has to, mat uh, has to, con has to uh, uh, conform to the uniformity of nature. And that's the first one. The second one is that it has to conform to the common human experience. Now, the uniformity of nature is, you know, not just that it's green and, and lush trees and all that. <laughs> the idea is that if this belief is true, then this belief is true in all relevantly similar circumstances. Okay, so um, you're not entitled to that belief if somehow the belief changes in other circumstances or it's not true in other circumstances or, or right, you, 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 there has to be... Uh, this consistency in your beliefs, right? Um, be it the beliefs be, be about the earth or mathematics or, or whatever, right? So if you believe, right, in this set of circumstances that you know if you drop a ball, it will bounce and the bounces will decrease and it will roll away, right? Well, then you you're not entitled to the belief. And oh, but by the way, sometimes it's just going to start bouncing all on its own and float for a little while and then fly away. No, you know, Clifford says, no, you know, you're not entitled to that belief, right? Not that second one. If you, if you, uh, you know, maybe you believe either one, right? <laughs> if you believe one, you can't just believe the other. Um, the belief has to conform to the uniformity of nature. If the belief is true and these circumstances is true in all relevantly similar circumstances. All right. So that's, that's one. The other condition is that it has to conform to the common human experience. Now that means that you know, given the same evidence, given the same opportunity to investigate the belief or you know, given the conditions or the evidence for the belief, that, that most, if not all, people would also assent to the belief. Right? They have to agree with you. So the ball bounces, it decreases, the bounce, it rolls away. People say, aha, yeah, I believe in that. Right? that, 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 that you know, given this evidence, that's, that's true. Um, and if you say, well, yeah, I think it's just going to start bouncing on its own and fly away. Well, if they don't agree with that, right, then, uh, you know, even if you have the uniformity of nature, so to speak, you don't get to, you, you don't have the uh, common human experience. Right? So these are the two conditions, okay? two conditions. Your belief has to conform to the uniformity of nature. This one. The second one is that um, has to conform to the common human experience. Most, if not all people would agree with the belief given the same evidence. Mm -hmm.